How to load data using a pull to refresh indicator. We have a list of items that we display inside a list view. Around the list view we wrap a refresh indicator and inside the refresh method we put the new items data to some new values. With this, if you pull to refresh, then the refresh method is called and the new items are loaded. Alternatively, you could use the HTTP package to load the new items from a server. If the server response is successful, then we get from the response body the new items and then we replace the items by the new items. Let's also go to this URL. Here you see that we get a list of data and every time we get then individual items, in our case we want to access only the ID of each item. Therefore we simply map over our items and from each item we extract the ID and then we return an item with this number. If we pull to refresh now, the new items are loaded from the server. Optionally you can remove the current items before every request. And while the items are cleared, we show a loading indicator. With this, a loading indicator is displayed until the new items are loaded. How to create an infinite scrolling list view that fetches more data using HTTP. We have a list of 15 items that we display inside of a list view. Once we reach the bottom of the list, then we want to load more data. Simply add one more item to the list view. If it is not the last item, then we display our normal items. And if it is the last item that we have now added, then we show a loading indicator. As a result, if we scroll down, the last item is this loading indicator. Next, we add to the list view a controller that we create within the state. Within the init state, we listen to this scroll controller and check if we have reached the end of the list. If this is the case, then we want to fetch some more data from the server. So in our case, we add some more items to the end of the list. With this, if you reach the end of the list, then the new items are appended to our list. Also make sure to dispose the scroll controller in case it is not needed anymore. Next, you could use the HTTP package to load some items from the server. If the response is successful, then we get from the response body the new items which we simply add to our current items list. Let's also go to this website. From this URL we load a list of items. Each item that we load we are only interested in the ID for now. Therefore let's map over our items. From each item we extract the ID and return a text item with this number. With this if we reach the end of the list then we load 100 items from the server. Next, we want to make sure that we only load 25 posts from our server. Next to the limit, you can normally define a page. If it is the page 1, we load the first 25 items. If it is the second page, then we load 25 more items and so on. To make it dynamic, we have a page variable that we add within our state. And finally, once we have loaded some items from the server, we increment the page so that we load next time the next items from the server. Let's also go to the state and remove the items and instead we fetch then initially some data from the server. With this we load 25 items from the server. If we reach the end then we always load 25 more items of the server. If we load less than 25 items from the server we set a flag has more to false. Let's also create this flag within our state. And within the list view, instead of the circular progress indicator for the last item, we display then the text no more data to load. As a result, if we reach the end of the list and there's no more data on the server, then it displays no more data to load. Also add a is loading flag to your state. Within the fetch method, we make sure that if it is currently loading, we are not loading again. And if it is not loading, then we set the is loading flag to true. And when we have finished loading, then we set the is loading flag to false. With this, we make sure if the loading takes longer, that we only make one request at a time to the server. And finally, around the list view, we wrap a refresh indicator. Within the refresh method, we reset first of all the state, and then we load all the data, our items again. With this, you can also pull to refresh to make a server request for loading fresh data.